In 2016, ORAU introduced the STEM Stories program, which aims to connect students interested in STEM subjects with area scientists. Each program features scientists telling the story of their education and personal career paths, along with issues they have had to overcome to succeed in their profession. At the end of the program, students are given time to ask questions and interact with the scientists. In early 2017, ORAU had the opportunity to take the STEM Stories program on the road and partnered with Vine Middle Magnet School, a STEAM Academy in Knoxville, Tennessee, to provide a more in-depth experience for the students. It's everything for us. Um, I know it sounds a little hokey that, you know, it takes a village, but it truly does. And our kids, you know, part of the issue is that our kids don't come to school sometimes with those experiences and that prior knowledge and oftentimes don't have the resources. So what this does to have these community partners who provide those opportunities for our kids, it just opens the world for them. It gives them access to things that they might not otherwise have. And, you know, when I hear, you know, with those STEM stories and I hear the teachers say to me, our kids were asking amazing questions and they were highly engaged. And so it just, it, it, it provides those opportunities for them that they need to really function and be successful in today's world. ORAU showed the movie Hidden Figures to the entire student population. The movie was a huge success for both the students and teachers at Vine. I think my favorite part is when um, he knocked down the colored bathroom sign. Um, it just like made me realize how real racism is. Something that I liked about the movie is when the African-American women stood up for their rights and they didn't accept that some people wouldn't like what they did and they stood up for themselves. I think what I liked most about the movie was that they were kind of overcoming and they were, they were learning because they wanted to make a difference in the world and because they wanted rights to be perfected and not like men go first, women go second. Well, it's the first time I've seen the movie. I've, I've seen previews of the movie and I thought it was great. I've heard a lot of great reviews about the movie and giving our students here a chance to see this. You know, most of our students here are African American and they got to see the struggles that, you know, these four women went through in the early years and they overcame so much and were still able to accomplish their dreams. So hopefully that will set them on the right path to be able to conquer whatever it is that they want to be able to conquer in life. I hope that my students um, will gain a greater awareness for the possibilities that await them um, in the world. I would hope that they can see the connections to some of the things that they do in the classroom and start to think big about their careers and their dreams and aspirations and imagine themselves a part of this great big world making wonderful discoveries. I think first and foremost, I hope that the kids getting to see Hidden Figures shows them that they have options and opportunities beyond what they may see right now, um, that they can set a goal for themselves and achieve that goal regardless of where and what it is, um, and let them see that they have the potential to go beyond whatever limits society has set on them. After the movie, students were invited to attend a series of breakout sessions where they interacted with industry-leading scientists in several different fields. The scientists were prepared to discuss many topics, including the rewards of conducting science in the respective fields to sharing advice for students seeking career opportunities in the STEM fields. I think what I find most rewarding is that you learn something new every day. I think that uh, the scientific process is something that you know you can apply to almost everything you know if you don't know the answer then you you research it and you dig and you dig and you try to find out what the answer is and then when you find the answer that's great but sometimes you don't and that just leads to more investigation so it's a never-ending process it's different every day and every day I um, my job is different I learn something different I get to interact with the smartest most creative people um, and so Every day is different. I'm constantly changing. The world around me is constantly changing. And we learn something new every day. I love teaching students. Um, at the community college level, most students, they have to have a year of science in order to graduate. 
And so for the most part, they always tend to enroll in general biology, which is one of the main courses that I teach. And so most of the time, I do not get science majors, but by the end of one year, I usually get at least five to 10 people who want to become science majors. If they see people that look like them, um, and also getting a chance to actually do hands-on experiments and things like that. I think that's kind of the best way to keep them engaged. Um, <clears throat> that's why for me, um, I want to give back to the students. So I actually have a program here at Vine called Girls in STEM where we do um, hands-on experimentation. The scientists were also willing to share advice to students seeking career opportunities in the STEM fields. I would definitely say um, even though you may not be strong in certain aspects of science, technology, engineering, and math, there is a place for you um, in a STEM career. Um, and in that, you have something to offer and be boldly confident in what you have to offer so you can make an impact on the world. There are so many options to pursue and to try everything, to be open to new experiences and new places and to try all these different wonderful STEM disciplines. I would say um, to get involved in as many programs as you can, after school activities, uh, summer programs, take those advanced classes, the things that may challenge you, because those will be important to you once you reach the uh, university level. I'll, I'll answer this question by saying I believe that children are, are naturally very curious and probably the best thing that you can do is to get out of the way and let a child's natural curiosity be expressed and be fulfilled. And that means putting a child into an environment where they can explore and they can choose to follow their own interests. And the role of a teacher slash parent would be to provide a safe environment for a child to do that. Promoting science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education and creating a talent pool of next generation scientific and technical talent is vital to our nation's future. Interested in bringing the STEM Stories program to your school? 